What's up guys, this is Adam with Tech Like a Boss back with you with another video. Today we are talking about how to record your screen as well as your webcam uh, both at the same time or uh, individually if you want. And then we'll also go over how to remove the background from your webcam through OBS Studio. Let's dig into it. Uh, sorry, it's been a little while since I made my last video, just now getting over COVID, so glad that's just about done with now. But um, today we're going to use OBS. OBS is open broadcast software, and it is free. As you see right now, I have it open, and you can see when you install this software, it gives you a ton of options. It's the absolute best broadcasting, streaming, recording um, software really that's out there. Um, again, totally free. It's open source. There's a ton of plugins that go with all kinds of programs that you can use uh, for OBS. Tons of YouTubers use it, as well as uh, Twitch streamers and other uh, gamers use this program a lot. You obviously install it and um, this is the interface i've moved my tabs around a little bit but in your main thing here is scenes you have different scenes in obs and um, when you click a scene it has a set of sources in that scene so in this scene that you're seeing right now there are two sources you have the video capture device which is my webcam and then you have the display capture and that's what you're seeing there on the screen with um, the screen um, being cast. So if I turn off the display capture um, now, obviously you just see me here in the corner. And then if I turn off the video capture, there you don't see anything. Let me go ahead and show you how to add this in OBS. So and you right click on your sources, you click add, and then you're going to go down to the display capture. And then that's going to uh, ask you if you want to create a new one or you want to open an existing one. And we're gonna just going to say create a new one, display capture three. And then we're going to press OK. And then there it is. So now it's showing my screen uh, being displayed there. You can choose which monitor you, that you want to capture. And then you can change your method if you want, if you have more than one method or more than one video card. Automatic is probably the easiest there. And you can capture the cursor if you want or not. And then just click OK. And there we are. But see now the webcam is gone. The reason why is because over here on the display capture number three, it is sitting above the video capture device or the webcam. And so whatever's sitting at the top will be over top of what's below it. So if I click on the webcam and move it up, there we are. Now you see me in the corner again. That's the display capture. You can right click on this and go down to filters. And you can click the plus icon and you can add um, a filter to your display if you want. If you want to change the um, color, if you want to change the luma, brightness, sharpen it, um, anything like that, even masking, cropping, you can do that all right there with filters. Um, but you can also drag, let me turn off the bottom capture there. You can also drag your um, source anywhere around. So for example, if I wanna drag this over, see now you only see this portion of the capture and then you see the webcam down here. Or if you still want to have the whole screen, you can simply change the dimension, shrink it down like that by dragging in the corner. And then so now here's my screen capture, and then here's my webcam. Now you see I have my webcam, it's cropped already. Let me just go ahead and show you how to add a webcam as well. So a video capture device. So Again, you're going to right click on sources, go to add, and then go down to video capture device. Video capture, let's just say, yeah, number two, create a new one. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not going to show it because the capture is already 
the capture device is already in use. All right, but I can just turn that right back on. Um, now, that's how you add your webcam. And then for me, so what I did was I shrunk my webcam down and then I scooted it to the bottom corner down there. So that's how you have both showing at the same time. As long as the eye is not crossed off over here in your sources, then both of these will show at the same time. And again, you can overlap them if you want, or you can drag and drop around however you want. So that's how you show both the screen capture and the webcam at the same time in OBS. Now, when you're ready to record, you just click the start record. As you see, I've already done that. It's now it's, I can click stop to stop this video. Um, or if you're streaming, you want to start stream. Now, um, there's other videos you can find all around YouTube, of course, um, on how to use OBS. We can go into more of that in another video, but I just wanted to give you an idea on how uh, to go ahead and record both the screen as well as the webcam at the same time. A lot of people want that functionality. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to look at is um, keying or removing the background. And so that's the, the technical term is keying because you are keying out a color, a certain color uh, in your background. Now, OBS has a really cool uh, filter. So if I right click on my video source, my webcam source and go down to filters, you see here where I have my color key and I look all crazy there. That's because it is filtering out some colors that I have put uh, in the color key filter here. Um, and so what I've done is I've selected a color that kind of resembles my background. In fact, I might be able to get a better one here. Let's see. Uh, let's let's try more of a maybe a lighter color here. Yeah, here we go. And then you can slide these sliders to make your background disappear more and more. The goal here is have a background on the video that is different from your face and whatever you're wearing um, so that you can match that color. And then if you match that color on the key filter, it will remove the color completely and then you'll be transparent. Now, it's not perfect for me, of course. I don't have a, you know, a real good setup here, but uh, it still works really well. OBS, again, has a really cool filter here. So if you slide this similarity knob over, you see how I'm getting more transparent there? And so now, now I'm totally transparent um, as far as the background goes. So if I close this, now you can't see my background anymore, but also you can't see a lot of my face either. You just have to fool around with it and get it how you like it. Um, obviously, the best thing to do is to get a green screen background and then um, just change this color key to green and it would remove it perfectly. Um, I don't have a green screen, but if I did, that's what I would do. But for those of us who don't, we can use this slider and you can use this smoothness slider. That helps a lot. See, look, if you take the smoothness now, it looks horrible. But if you move it up, it looks a little better. And then I also have my crop filter on my webcam as well. So <clears throat> anyway, that's how you use the keying filter um, with a webcam on OBS. That's how you use the display capture and the webcam capture both at the same time. And um, I hope that's helpful for you. I hope uh, that helps you to use this functionality. And if it did, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe for more, leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. And who loves QR codes? Everybody loves QR codes. Check this video out. It's going to show you how to make awesome QR codes for just about anything. You're going to love it. All right. This has been Adam with Tech Like a Boss. I am out. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.